External makes it quick and easy to set up your online store to accept credit cards using the Authorize.net payment gateway. In this video, I'm going to show you the simple steps on how to set up and integrate your Authorize.net account with your Nextternal storefront. We will then process a sample transaction and discuss a few other topics such as issuing a refund or voiding a charge. Before I show you how to set up your Authorize.net account, there are a few things we're going to need. First, if you don't already have an Authorize.net account, Nextternal can help. Nextternal has established a partnership with eOnline Data, one of the most trusted merchant account providers in the industry, and you can visit www.e-onlinedata.com forward slash Nextternal to apply for an Authorize.net account. Even if you already have an Authorize.net account, I recommend that you contact eOnline Data as they do provide external customers with preferred pricing. Once you have your Authorize.net account set up, you'll need some important pieces of information to integrate with Nextternal. You're first going to need the API login ID and transaction key from your Authorize.net account. These two pieces of information are needed to allow Authorize.net and Nextternal to talk to one another. To find the API login ID and transaction key, you're first going to log into your Authorize.net account. Once you've logged in, you will then go to Settings, then API Login ID and Transaction Key. The API Login ID and Transaction Key consist of several characters, so you'll want to write the information down so you can easily enter into your Nextternal account. Before your Nextternal storefront goes live, you'll want to take your Authorize.net account out of test mode. You can do this by going to Settings, then clicking on Test Mode. You'll want to turn the test mode to off and you'll be ready to process a transaction. Once you have the API login ID and transaction key, you'll then want to log in to your Nextternal order management system. Once inside the OMS, you will then proceed to the Settings section. From Settings, you will scroll down to Compatible Software and click Edit. Once inside of the Compatible Software, you will see the Payment Gateways section and the fields for the Authorize.net information. Here you will enter your API login ID and transaction key in the space provided. Please note that you will not need to enter a password as this information is for some of our older Authorize.net accounts. Once you've entered the correct information, you'll then want to configure your authorization settings. Authorizations will determine how the store acts when a credit card is entered during the checkout process as you can see by the first setting Authorize credit card before accepting order. If you select this option, then the order will not be accepted if the card is declined for any reason. Most companies will authorize before accepting the order to make sure that they aren't getting a number of declined cards after the order has been placed. You can then configure a few other settings such as maximum number of attempts, but the important setting to point out is the card validation values or the three to four digit code that's located on the back of the credit card. Asking for the CVV is important because it increases the likelihood that whoever is making the purchase actually has the credit card in hand. Authorize.net may even give you a better transaction rate when you ask for the three to four digit code as purchases using this code are less likely to be fraudulent. As you will see, you can choose to make the code optional, required, or not use the code at all. Once you've configured your authorization settings, scroll to the bottom of the page and click finish. Now that's all it takes to set up and integrate your Authorize.net account. We can now submit a sample transaction to test the settings. To thoroughly test the transaction process, you'll first want to visit your Nextternal online store and submit a test order with an active credit card. Once you submit the test order, you can then log in to your order management system, then proceed to the orders section. You will see the test order you just submitted at the top of the list, and if you're authorizing at the time of sale, then the billing status should say authorized. If the status says authorized, then that's a good sign as it means you're connected to Authorize.net servers. If the status says unbilled, then either you're not authorizing at the time of sale, or the terminal couldn't process the transaction for some reason, and you'll need to troubleshoot through the credit card terminal. Now you can quickly process the test transaction by clicking the green dollar sign next to the order number. 
you should receive a pop-up message saying that Authorize.net will now process the order and you'll want to click OK. You'll then see the credit card terminal that will display the results of the transaction and as you can see the funds for this order are processed and if you close the window you'll now see that the billing status for this order has been marked as paid. You've now processed this credit card with Authorize.net through the external order management system and if this was a live order it would be ready to pack and ship to the customer. If for any reason you need to get directly to the credit card terminal for a declined card or an order with an unbilled status, you can click on the order number, then scroll down and click on the credit card terminal button. Here you will see a list of the transactions and any errors that may have occurred. You can also take a quick note of some of the other buttons in the terminal such as auth capture, refund, and void. These buttons will come in handy for future transactions. Now I've just shown you how quick and easy it is to process an individual transaction with Authorize.net. However, with an external order management system, you are also able to bulk process several transactions at once. If you have several orders that you would like to process in bulk, then from the order screen you can click the Batch Process button, which will allow you to select multiple orders and process them at the same time. This way, if you have hundreds of orders you need to capture funds for, you won't have to hit the green dollar sign for each individual order. As you can see, Nextternal makes it fast, easy, and most importantly, secure for online merchants to accept credit cards using the Authorize.net payment gateway. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to contact us at 1-800-914-6161 or email us at interest at nextternal.com.